Nicola Cage speaks on the fifth marriage. American actor filmmaker Nicolas Cage has opened up about his marital life and why he will never remarry if he ever were to split from his fifth marriage a wife, Rico Shibata. He revealed all of this and more in the April issue of GQ magazine saying, I am a romantic and when I'm in love, I want to give that person everything I can. It's my expression of saying, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And this is it for me. I mean, this is not happening again. This is it, this is it. Nicolas Cage and his wife are expecting their first child together. And he also reveals that they have already chosen two names for the baby, Akira Francesco for a boy and and Lennon Augie for a girl. The actor said Augie was my father's nickname and my uncle has decided to change his name to Francesco. I think it's so sweet. It's like a little edamame, a little bean. Hmm, interesting stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. After fifth, the fifth. I, I, I do not believe Nicolas Cage, uh, yeah. Because after is... the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> and then you're not saying that this after the it. fifth one. This is it. You've done the fifth, so you this can as well go on to like the tenth. At the end I'm of sorry. the day, love is magical. Yeah. yeah. It, it won't never happen, say never. Happen. Yeah. What will be, will be. And mm. then I'm sure before this one, he would have thought about it and said, ah, this is the end of the road. And then he fell in love again mm. and he married her. And this is like his third child and her first child. Lori Ro. And the... <laughs> what? Lori Ro. <laughs> and well, uh, let me talk about the names. Okay. So his uncle is Francis and he's changing his name to Francesco. Mm -hmm. So he decided if he's a boy, I'm giving him Francesco. Yeah. If he's a girl, but at the end of the day, people would always shout and scream that August, yeah, August, his father is August. Doesn't mm -hmm. it sound masculine? That's why he made it Augie. Augie. Mm. And the names are cute, by the way. Okay. They, they, they will now do like Kylie. Oh, so he now said that. We are not uh, we don't again. Again. Yeah, we'll <laughs> But excuse, I'm so sorry. I know that people are entitled to whatever name they yeah, want to they give them. But some names actually sound so weird. Like naming that's a child. That's how to sounds weird. To them. Yes. Because like, that one actually <laughs> has a... No, so that has a, no, so that has a meaning. When you say wolf, wolf. <laughs> like an animal, they say wolf. They no, no, no. <laughs> Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. So that was actually quite different. And then mame right there yeah, is a like so, soy yeah. meal, soy yeah. bean. And then you're saying that, oh, it's so it's so kills like that. I'm like a uh, you know what? Soybean is healthy. So it's healthy. They don't even talk about how healthy. He said it's like it's little and like it's, cute. Cute. <laughs> and it's little beans. See. Well, like you said at the beginning, everyone's entitled to what they want. What? <laughs> wolf. Well, that wolf killed me. It's no, okay, if you ask fine. Wolf now, when they first gave him the name before they changed it, they'll say, oh, you know, in the Chinese calendar, he falls under the wolf. You know, they're animals. So get yeah. under wolf. So we're like, you know what? This is what you follow. Okay, so somebody will wake name. up tomorrow and name the child monkey. It's okay. Or rabbit. Yeah, yeah, it's inspiration. <laughs> yeah, uh, looking forward to see if Nicolas Cage will really stop at this fifth marriage.